last week on Divine Disruptions. Jesus is invited to go to a wedding, and I need to make a distinction between our culture and the culture of the biblical times. Jesus says, woman, why do you involve me in this? Now, if I said to my mother, woman, why do you involve me with these things? She'd be taking the trash out with me in it. But in their culture, it was okay. Now, the second thing I need you to see is a wedding in general. Now, when we have a wedding, it gets real weird. You write a list and certain people can't come. Remember last time your uncle came to every function we've been at. Once he had a red cup, something went wrong. So for a wedding, we had a list of people. Second thing we had, we have to have a limit of who's coming to the wedding. Listen, $50 a plate, the personnel is very important. Here's the problem. In the culture of their time, everybody came. Here's another issue. Now they lived in an honor and shame culture. The two highlights that would happen. One, the gift because what you bring could either bring shame or honor to the couple. The gift would be something that would bring them honor. You, if you brought a gift that would bring some kind of shame to this couple, you would be in some type of legal issues and, and issues of shame. This is important because the wedding that they get themselves into now, honor and shame culture, they run out of wine. There's the, the issue of the gift and there's an the issue of hospitality. Now, if I have an issue where I am not able to be hospitable, then that brings shame to me and my family. Now, they can't come or associate themselves with you. And so the issue of, of the wine running out is a big issue because now, now you're shameful. Now you've done something dishonorable. But listen, God can use what you have. Jesus didn't leave where he was to bring a blessing. I see six jars. Jesus looked around where he was to see if there was anything around him that they had that he could use to bless them, but they already had what he needed to use in order to bless them. I'm going to do a miracle with what you already have. The Bible makes a distinction between clay jars and stone jars. Clay jars, earthen vessels, and earthen vessels were supposed to be used and then thrown away. Listen, he reveals to us that these stone jars are a part of a religious system. He used the stones that were used for ceremonial washing. He filled the water to the brim, and then he turned the water into wine. This couple with no wine was about to be shamed. Their entire situation was about to fall. And that's when I learned God can cover my shame.